<laughs> you good? You ready? All right. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. So what's going on, everyone? Uh, we are back with another episode of the After Hours podcast. Uh, today, we have a super special guest. Uh, this guest is important and really special to me because I've spent so much time talking to him, way too much time, especially in the beginning. Uh, so and it, yeah, I just know his story is incredible and it's awesome. So, you know, just, just the same as usual, Harry and I have like a, a mission to do these podcasts and not necessarily just talk about trading, even though it always ends up there. But we love talking about the emotional roller coaster that is not only life, but navigating the markets and all that. Um, so, you know, without further ado, we can kind of get started. Um, and I guess it's like the same way to start every single time is I guess, Tom, you know, what was your life like before trading? Like take us into life before you knew anything about the markets, where were you, what were you doing and, and kind of take it, take it from there. All right. So guys, uh, yeah, you know, uh, long story, right. Um, uh, so I basically grew up in Europe. And uh, I went to LA for college uh, for like, uh, I, I went to CSUN, Cal State Northridge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so I, I spent like, you know, five years there. Uh, uh, you know, just basically to study, right? And then I try to kind of stay in, in the States. And uh, so I kind of apply all the jobs there, you know, in LA. But at the end, you know, I couldn't get a green card, right? So I had to go back. So I moved back, you know, to Prague and, you know, started uh, doing some, you know, basically like, you know, just normal jobs, like, like every other person, right? So I graduated from, from finance and like economics, you know, to be exact. Mm -hmm. So I got a job at the, you know, this is like a firm of financing kind of firm. Yeah. Uh, and what year? What year is this? For context, what year is this? Uh, I think it was like 2012, 2012, okay. 2013. Yeah. Uh, so you know, I I applied for a job there, and I got uh, you know, like basically kind of office kind of job. So what we're doing back then is we have to cold call people, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, this is the fucking the hardest job that you could imagine. <laughs> I mean, cold calling sucks. Yeah, sucks. cold calling people. Like, sucks. And, and you asking them for money, right? It's even worse. No. Yeah. Like, they don't know you, and then you cold calling for some, like, you know, financial product. And so basically, you're trying to get money out of them, you know, for them to kind of invest and, and, and all that. So it got me, you know, uh, so I stayed there for like two and a half, maybe three years. Yep. And then. Uh, you know, at one night, you know, I kind of came across a website. I mean, I was always thinking about doing something for myself, right? To start my own yeah. business, you know, because I'm mm -hmm. tired of this, you know, full-time job. Yeah. I always wanted to do something, you know, either it's going to be open a new business or, mm -hmm. you know, try something yeah. for myself. And, and as I was looking online, I said, you know, there's a lot of ways to make money, right? Like, mm -hmm. you know, either be, you know, outside or like, you know, like online as well. And so I was, you know, looking up at Amazon, eBay and all that. And everything takes, you know, some certain money, right? To, to whatever, yeah. to, 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 to yeah, start the business. Yeah. yeah. So I went like, uh, you know, I, I just came across the website. I, I, I won't, you know, man, mention that website here, but yeah. I think a lot of us kind of, uh, you know, got hooked to him in the beginning. You know, mm -hmm. his first name start with the T, right? <laughs> so, uh, and uh, you know, and that's when you know I started to know about trading. Yeah. And were you married at I, this point? Were you were because your your son wasn't born, but were you, were you married at this point? I was, you know, with my wife that at that time we just like you know yep. dating and and and, yeah. and and all that. But after that, we got married. So, you know, long, 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 long story short, I got interested in that, uh, you know, trading mm -hmm. and I went over his materials, you know, DVDs, all that. And yep. I said, okay, so, because at, at first, right, you don't know what, what you're going to, you know, expect. Yep. All you see is all those Lambos, you know, fast money, and you're going to be rich tomorrow, right? And, you know, at that point, I'm, I was desperate, you know, to make money, to have mm -hmm. some sort of money, right? 
Yeah. So I was hooked, you know, I got in, applied for, you know, monthly and all that. And, you know, I, I put in, you know, my, like, uh, I had some, some money back then uh, on savings. So I put that all in. Mm-hmm. And I think within like one or two months, I blew it all up. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so I went back to my job and then I saw some new materials coming in. Okay, so maybe this time is the right one, right? I mean, last time, you know, I tried to do that and this and that didn't work. This did you feel like maybe better? Like, yeah. did you feel like having to go back to work was like, hell like was it like hard for you to like get into trading see trading and then go back to your like cold calling job because like i know for me like even now as like a profitable trader going to my normal job sometimes is tough and that's like something i know like i can do both but i can't imagine like trying to do it struggling and like losing yeah. money and then being like shit i gotta go back to to life like and see like was that hard like i don't even know like what did that feel like kind of in that Bro, it, back then it feels like shit it feels like shit i'm telling you but what else do i have left right i mean yeah. i have to pay bills i have to survive mm-hmm. anyway yeah. you know if, if i couldn't get a job i have to go to, to mcdonald's maybe you know for price yeah right that's it yep. right, that's the end of the story i mean either way you have to survive somehow right yeah. you have to find something that you can you know make monthly uh like you know month uh, like uh, money you know yeah. and yeah. you can basically pay your bills mm-hmm. and i mean the hardest part i think for me that that point was like all the money right i've been saving for that i think for like one for the last like a year on that year mm-hmm. because you yeah. know i was graduated well, out of college i didn't have much money anyway right so i i saved you know a few grand uh so that i could maybe buy a car or just something like that but mm-hmm. i blew that all up you know went back to my job and you know full sucks bro i mean it, it's really tough but then uh you know I I saw like you know I always believe like not like you know I of course I do believe in myself right but I mm-hmm. see the, the you know the real potential in this job right yeah so let me I think let me break it to this way so I'm an immigrant right you mm-hmm. know we went to uh, to Europe uh, so I tried to stay in in the state you know I couldn't I have to go back and as you know europe you know as especially in czech republic is really a conservative country right yeah. mm-hmm. i mean if they have to decide between you know an asian guy and a white guy right with the same degree of college they're going to choose him like no mm-hmm. like it, it just you have to be something or you have to yeah. have something different from that guy or, or that girl right yeah. And so what what it, made you live there? Was it just opportunity? Because being there is better opportunity than where no, you were? No, uh, my mom and dad, uh, they, like, I, I think the same story as Bao. Uh, yeah. So because of that Vietnam War, and we have to kind of, uh, yeah. you know, integrate here. So he it's went crazy. to Germany and all France and all that, and then he moved back to Prague. Uh, but, you know, long story short, yeah. uh, for you to be able to become successful, right, or to have any like you know higher position mm-hmm. in Europe, it's really mm-hmm. hard. You have yeah. to be really good. You have mm-hmm. to be absolutely. You have to be even better than white people, right? I'm. Yeah. I'm not being yeah. racist, here, but yeah. <laughs> but you know that's that's you know cold blooded truth. That's all yeah. that is. I mean, mm-hmm. if I have the same college degree as him, they're gonna hire him, right? No matter mm-hmm. what, I have to have something special. So yeah. that's where you know. I like the most about trading, you know, because based on my, you know, circumstances, right? Mm -hmm. Like I don't have, you know, I don't give a fuck, you know, or nobody cares about me, right? I can can do whatever I want in trading. I can trade with a million dollar account. Nobody knows shit, right? I can make a ton of millions, you know, by just sitting here. I don't have to interact with anyone. I don't have, like, I, I don't need, then, you know, a Harvard degree, right? I, I don't need any connection, you know, and all that, mm-hmm. you know, that's how you can succeed in life, right? Yeah. But as an immigrant, it's really hard to have that. Unless mm-hmm. you have a real rich family or whatever. Yeah, like, you know, out there in society, you have to have money first, you know, 
and then connections and then education and, and all that combined all together for you to succeed, right? And for me, that's impossible. So how can I be able to make a lot of money, right? Yeah. Either you know, winning a lottery or do something like gambling, right? Or yeah. trading. Yeah. And that's got me hooked. The idea itself, it got me hooked the most. Yeah. And I agree because like, I mean, if you, if you even look around in today's society, like, I mean, you can either like start a business similar to James, go into real estate, trade, and like, that's really about it. I mean, there's like some online business drop shipping that it kind of falls in that category. Yep. But like, this is one of the only things where like, you really just need your mind and you need some work ethic and you need to be able to kind of study. And, you know, as long as you can like have self-discipline and be consistent every day, like you can really exponentially grow your account. Exactly. And, and, you know, that's why like kind of in today's society, like a lot of people say, like, even I say it myself, like, I don't know if the market's going to be around in 10 or 20 years or, you know, wherever, like, it's just a means to an end, you know, everyone's like, oh yeah, you long these stocks. But at the end of the day, I'm taking my money from point A to point B. I'm shutting my computer down and leaving for the day. And that's exactly and job. what we do. And that's exactly that's what job. we do. Because, you know, yeah. you never know if the market's going to be around today, tomorrow, the next day, but we're just going to show up every single morning and just bank, you know, and that's, that's exactly kind of my mindset towards it. I think exactly. people forget, for, people forget too, like, like with trading, it's like, it's like, it's the only job where you can create as much wealth as you want and you can also lose everything you have. So it's yeah. like, it's, it's, it's such a emotional job to have every day until you can kind of, I don't think you ever master your emotions, but when you get there, I'd say Alex is probably as close as you can get to mastering the emotions and like, but you know, it's just, it's so fucking hard. So like, so Tom, like when you were at that stage, like given everything, like, did you have pressure on yourself? Like, did your family have like, not to be personal, I guess, but like, did you not ask if you came from money, but like, you know, did you have any backing? Did you have a fallback of like security or is it more just like pressure on yourself, either make it in trading or like you're fucking done? Bro. I mean, you know, at that point, like, 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 you know, like this, I've kind of experienced almost like everything. Okay, yep. so I blew up the account, you know, I went to my mom, I borrowed some money from her, I went to my dad, borrowed some money from him, yep. <laughs> went to my uncle, borrowed some money from him. <laughs> that's why, you know, all those small accounts, right? That's why it adds up to that fucking 30 or whatever, 35. Yeah, years. no. But the point is why I didn't give up because, okay, if you want to start a business, right, with few K, what are the odds that you're going to be successful? with that exactly. yep. so the odds are really minimal right but mm -hmm. with trading yes it's really hard but the odds are still better if you let's say you open a business for three grand you're gonna fail no like yep. you know like not 100 percent, but 99.9 percent .9%, mm -hmm. right if you start with ebay amazon with 3k 4k you're gonna fail too yeah so so we Trading, at least I know if I work hard, right, I could get there. Yeah. But there, there is a chance. You know, the art is still better than putting money in, in something else, maybe gambling or something. But you know, yep. I'm not talking about that. So, uh, so after all the borrowing money and all that, uh, it gets to the point, you know, that I think that was my last account, and I'm done. You know, I yep. blew up. I blew that one up as well. Are you still in the and, other room at this point or are you by yourself? Uh, I, I was, you know, after that, I was like uh, married already. Mm -hmm. And because, you know, like I think for like three or almost like three or four years, you know, all, all that account like blew yeah. up for like three or four years straight. Right. Just yeah. like, all right, just put in some money. I take, you know, three yeah. four months off and I put again, 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 over and over again. Right? What type of strategies were you using? Was it like more longing, more shorting, OTC? Shorting only at that, that time. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, it got me hooked with that idea of small companies, they, they, yeah. they're gonna crack, right? You know, yeah. so cool. we just need to find, you know, which stuff and then they, they, they're all gonna come down anyway. <laughs> that's what, 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 yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's what I was thinking. But, you know, with, 
you know, with uh, not a you know good timing and all that. That's why you blow up the account, right? And, yeah, exactly. And, and also discipline. You know, I was trading like, you know, from from the market open till close every single day. Huh. <laughs> like I could trade anything I want. I mean, you know, just anything that moves. Yeah. That's all. <laughs> I mean, that's funny. Yeah, and uh, also with that, and you know, a lot of money spending on on those chat rooms, right? And yep. he bought this fucking scanner. He bought something, you know, all that extra kind of tools, you know, books, DVDs, and all that for you to learn. Yeah. But I didn't learn shit. Right? Yeah. Was it, so, was your wife, was your wife, cause you're, you said we're at this point, right? At a moment in time, you're at your last account that you funded. Was your wife ever like, Tom, fucking stop, like stop fucking trading or, or the whole time was she kind of like, do your thing. Like, you know what you're doing. Um, or like, I guess have that work out. Like, cause that's a, that's a tough dynamic. I feel like, because I know when I talk to my girlfriend about it, I feel like she's dumb as shit because like I, she doesn't understand. Like I could tell her, yeah, I lost you know, a thousand dollars today, which is just like a day's work or whatever. And she's just like, what the, what the fuck? Like, she's like lost. She's so scared. She's like, are you okay? Like, what are you doing? I'm like, yeah, I, Jesus. I mean, Christ. actually I was talking to her about trading only like once or twice. Yeah. That time. <laughs> and after that, I'm done, yeah. you know, and <laughs> like every time she saw me like, you know, opening up, like uh, turning on a computer and said, you know, I'm, I'm just, you know, observing right in the market yeah. so I can learn more. But yeah. Uh, in fact, I was borrowing some money from someone. Always. <laughs> yeah. In fact, so, you're but, blowing up over here. <laughs> yeah, but I, I couldn't, you know, send the fact that telling her about it because she told me, okay, so you blew up like, you know, several accounts now. Why are you still trying something? <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, why, why are you still trying like, you know, to yeah. pursue something that, that is not working, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I said, you know, okay, I'm going to stop. All right, I'm gonna go back to my full time job. So that time I was like, you know, yeah. going back to work and do all that and that. And uh, and it gets to the point that, uh, you know, I blew up my last account, so yeah. I'm done. Yeah, I couldn't borrow any money, so yeah, I had to work, you know. And yeah. I think after that, I got saved like around like a thousand or something. Yeah, after like you know, two months after yeah. you know, all the bills and all that, right? Because I was making like 1500 a month mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. And yeah, I, I had to kind of put a grand away for my family, right? You basically mm-hmm. paying the bills and you know, good thing is that here, here everything is cheap. So, so I got saved, you know, a thousand bucks. And right after that point, I think MIC uh, opened, uh, you know, MIC like around August, right? Yep, August. And when I heard that from Bao, because, you know, like this, Bao, I mean, you know, all those years, right, I was in the chat room, you know, all different chat rooms, and mm-hmm. and I knew Bao, like, not personally, but I knew him yep. from Twitter, yep. and I was following him, you know, I saw, oh, man, he's a Vietnamese, man, he's really successful, with it. I was showing him, you know, playing golf and all that shit. And that guy, you know, must have make some really, you know, good money, right? You know, all the cars and, and all that. So, and I said, man, this guy is really good. Let me dig in a little bit deeper. So I try to kind of dig in following on Twitter. I saw like every single tweet from him, all the trading fish. I went through everything. Okay. And, you know, something inside of me saying that, oh man, this guy is real. Okay. The one thing is, you know, all those different chat room fools, you know, I can feel some sort of, you know, fake or like, you know, so just something from them I don't like, right? But from yeah. Bao, I can sense, you know, like the truth, you know, from him, the personality he is. But even though I never met him, right, I never even talked to him, but I, I you know, I, I kind of felt something, maybe also because he's Vietnamese or Asian, maybe just because of that. Mm-hmm. But the way, you know, he kind of talked or the way he tweeted yeah. all those like can like uh you know yeah. that and uh i kind of feel you know i close to him and i said yeah Man, this guy really know about trading he knows yeah. about trading and and right at that point uh he was saying something to alex right that they're gonna open a chat room and mm-hmm. i said man okay so my legend you know my kind of yeah uh so you know, my, to, right? my guy, right, the one I'm look up to the most, he's opening a chat room, right? So this is, I, I mean, at that point, I was like, you know, I'm, 
I'm done with trading, bro. I'm done. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like, you know, after all that, you know, I'm done. Basically, I'm done. Uh, and I hope, you know, I, I don't even want to save that amount anymore. I mean, thousand grand. I mean, it's, it's not going to do anything, right? I mean, I, I traded with, you know, seven, eight thousand, ten thousand, four thousand, and blew up anyway. So mm-hmm. a grand would not make a difference. So right after that, I decided, okay, so I'm going to split, uh, you know, two months by my C and then 700 to my, and, you know, that account. Yeah. And after that, you know, I joined MIC and all that. So uh, the rest is history kind of thing. Yeah. But that's great. That's, that's, that's the turning point for me. Yeah. Since it's then. crazy. It, it's funny you say that about Bao because I, I feel like with Bao, and I'm sure Harry agrees. I mean, he, <clears throat> he makes you feel like even if he's tweeting or if he's just messaging, like, you almost feel like he's just talking to you. Like something yeah. about Bao makes you feel like this dude just gives a shit about you, about whoever's receiving the message. And I think that's such a rare quality in people that like people, it's such an under, like it, it's not even expressed enough how much Bao kind of makes you feel like there's like hope to do this. It's weird. I don't know how to explain it, but I don't know, Harry. And, you you know, the same, for, but. Yeah. For me, one thing is I feel like he's keeping it real. Right. Yeah, you don't, you don't have to use like whatever fancy words yeah. and all that. Yeah, I mean this yeah. is the reality, and yeah. because I have experienced that trading period, right? So that's why I understood kind of more his tweets, and it's kind of you know click in my head. Man, this guy is saying exactly the same thing that I yeah. experienced. Yeah, but n- nobody told me that before, right? Yeah. So that's yeah. why that's that's the thing it kept me going, and also like kind of believe in him. Even though you know I have never talked to that guy, I never saw him. So yeah, yeah, he's I mean, crazy. It's, it's he, great he connections. Like, yeah, you know, he he's genuine. I think, and he's not just like, you know, like it was before he was on Twitter. You know, he was on Twitter for so long, like not selling anything. Just responding exactly. to people's DMs, giving genuine advice, making a killing while he's friggin' doing it. Like, basically said, I'm never going to open up a chat room. You know, I don't need the money. I don't need this. I don't need that. But then I think he was, like, he, he kind of realized that, like, all the other chat rooms kind of at the moment that I see, like, yep. other than maybe maybe a couple – are just like, you know, either giving some type of alerts or pumping or, I mean, even now, like you, you, you can, how much has changed? You know, you can just see now, like, Bro, like, I mean, before you couldn't even find a chart from him. Okay. Yeah. Not talking about fucking entries and exits and fucking fills. Yeah. He didn't push shit. And now yeah. people are all getting it for free and they don't appreciate it. I mean, what the fuck, man? Yeah, I was I know. like, you know, sitting every day waiting for him to post something. But no, I was waiting for like a month or two yep. to have some sort of, you know, ideas what he's doing, you know, was he shorting and, and all that. And now they've been getting for free. And then and that's just. I, uh, I stand by, like, people don't, they, <coughs> even mem- members in MIC don't appreciate some of it sometimes because I remember yep. back then, like, waiting for Bao or Alex or someone to post what they traded, how much they made for inspiration and also like sort of guidance of like, holy shit, this is what they did. Yeah. And I remember like, like I would have done anything for a watch list for any insight from any of these guys. And like to get it now, even at the monthly cost, it's like, I would pay more. Like, I just like think back on my early days. Like if, if they called me when I first started out, I would have paid more, which is crazy. But like, I would have invested in that. And it's like, yeah. It's like here Bro, here. now it's like yep. you know Bao commenting almost every single day. Ali's doing yep. watch list. You know, I think it's just the fact that like the members they got so used to the idea or to the fact that they have all those information, yep. right? But when you got a lot of it, and you like you know, it makes you don't appreciate it. Yeah, yep. I mean, less is more sometimes, right? And maybe fucking cut it for a week, and then you see what happens yeah. after that, right? You'll to be me, dying of fucking for for comment. Of course, uh, to me, it's like dude, it's like we have two seven figure traders, a, a guy who made a million dollars a day. We have these people offering their help and their teaching. 
even even paid, it's like the cost is nothing compared to what you're getting. That's like to me, like getting basketball lessons from Michael Jordan and fucking the the Bulls. Like that's like, yeah. it's like you there. It's ir- you can't even fathom how great that is. And like and like I think it shows. Like look at the mods. Like the, most of the mods were members since early on, or like. You know, and look at how far they've come. Look at how far everyone's come just from being in the room and putting in that kind yeah, of work for that. Yeah. It's crazy. I mean, like, Tom, I, I mean, we'll get more into it, I guess. But, like, I remember, like, when we first started trading together, it was, like, you know, we talked about shit. Like, I, we, we were just so fucking confused on certain things. And, like, we just yeah. sort of talk about it and get through it. And, like, looking back on those times, being, like, wow, like, shit's changed so much. Like, it, yeah. you just you, it you is, work yeah. harder. You put in the work and, and your life changes. And, like, you know, I know, I know, Tom. Like, you're kind of famous for that, for like the story with like Uber and stuff like that. How you were like Ubering, and and all that. And can you kind of dive into that? Because at this, because you have to be close to the timeline at this point, right? Because you yeah. just you're on your last account, and I, I want to touch on that because that's like one of my favorite stories you have. So if you have anything think, about that, yeah. I'd love to hear it. On that one, I mean, it's pretty. I mean, it's pretty fucked up. You know, when I think about it back then. <laughs> I yep. mean, you know, uh, I was saving for that grand, right? Yeah. And yep. right after that, a fucking boss sacked me. Can you imagine that? I fucking, you know, saving that <laughs> money, yeah. you know, for trading. I was thinking, okay, let me kind of work this job, which is a little bit, maybe longer, maybe six, six months or a year, right? Mm-hmm. So I can, you know, save up some more and put it in more. But then, you know, right after that, he fucking sacked me. And I think at that point, I contacted, I contacted Bao and I said, I mean, bro, I mean, I, I really wanted to be in MIC. I, I really wanted to be, you know, to continue and all that. But I just can't afford it, bro. I mean, and also, you know, with my priority now is to be able, you know, to feed my family. Right. That's mm-hmm. the most important thing. I mean, you know, reality hits. I mean, even though I want to trade, but, you know, with $700 account, I'm not going to go anywhere with that. Right. Yeah. yeah. If, I, if I push it, if I, you know, force myself, I'm going to blow up. Right. Yep. And then, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm broke after that. Yeah. Either way. Can't trade with pressure. Yep. Yeah. So I had to find a new job, you know, right after that, but I couldn't get hired and, and, and everything. I said, you know, fuck it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have car here. So what? I'm gonna drive you, bro. Uh, yeah. And and I was looking for you know a kind of time frame, which one, like uh, which hours you know can make the yeah. most. So usually, uh, usually in the morning, you know, six seven a.m. And at that time, you know, market it's I think market opens here at three thirty, right? Mm-hmm. P.M. Yeah. You have so, a son at this point, right? You you yeah, had your so, son now. <laughs> yeah. So I, yeah. I you know uh, like my my my. My son is here at that point, Anna. So basically, I, I had to feed my family, right? Yeah. And I couldn't focus on trading. And I had to find something else. No matter what, right? You know, even though I'm really good at trading, even though, you know, I, I could, you know, make money from trading. But with 700 bucks, you know, you can do shit. Yeah. No. You, yeah. you can do it anyway, right? No matter how, how good you are. Yeah. It's going to take time. Yeah. Let's say you're going to you're be either trading so but, small, yeah, there's no yeah. money, or yeah, you're going to blow up. Let's say, you know, if you experience like Bao, and but we started with 700 bucks, it's going to take him a few years to get yeah. to the next level, right? Yeah, of so course, of course. I, I kind of realized that and I said, okay, let me find a job. So I started Uber, and also the time, it's like what interests me the most is that I can trade from 3 p.m. You know, I can drive some, you know, in the morning yeah. when I'm done with trading, I can trade and, you know, I, I can go, you know, at night as yeah. well. You know, usually uh, around midnight yeah. is, is good, you know, pay as well. So, so are you why, working like 12 hours a day, like 12 to 15 hours a day at this point? Like, I would say like, I work like almost like full day. Except, except <laughs> when when I come back for for trading. Yeah, right? yeah. So uh, when uh, yeah, I have to come back around like one p.m. or two just to prepare myself yeah. in the free market. Mm-hmm. So maybe one or two hours, and then trade for one hour. So it's like three or four hours, right? And then after yeah. that, I'm just driving Uber. That's it. <laughs> but crazy. you know, it's doable, right? Yeah. And that's the only thing I like about it is because I don't have to go to nine to five. If I'm going mm-hmm. to nine to five, right, I can't trade. Mm-hmm. Right. And with this, yes. okay, so the money might not be as good as normal job, but 
I still could fit my family with that. Mm -hmm. With, you know, that I could also do trading, you know, at the same time. So that's, you know, a win-win for me. Even though, you know, the money is not that good. But all I need at that point was I don't have to worry about monthly payment. Mm -hmm. I, don't, yep. I don't have to worry about, you know, putting food on the table. And that takes the pressure off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? I mean, of course, there is some pressure, right? And 700 bucks. But, yeah. you know, I don't have to worry about that. Oh, now, you know, I can only worry about focus on that trading to grow the account. I have to be careful because, you know, if I blow up, it's going to take me maybe six months or a year driving yeah, Uber yeah. to save another grant, right? Or yeah. maybe, yeah. you know, more than that. So, yeah, so that was like really tough, bro. Uh, but then, you know, the consistency came and it just become much more easier. When you get to that two, three thousand, you know, four thousand, yeah. five thousand, it, you know, it gets so much easier. And yeah. then you make, let's say, you know, you make, you know, hundred bucks a day, but imagine here, like I'm driving all day, right. To be able to make that hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not talking about, you know, service to my car, changing oil and yeah. all that. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Just net. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, with all that, I could make maybe like 50 bucks only, you know, yeah. deduct it from all the, uh, the gas and, and, and all that, but yeah. making here hundred bucks a day, that's a fucking life changing for me. And I said, okay now we just need to stick with it now i just yeah. need to keep it yeah and see so, hearing this hearing this pisses me off though because it's like i get so many dms people saying i don't have time i don't have time to watch videos i don't have time to do this or trade or do this and it's like hearing yeah. this just reminds me that like if you want it bad enough like you'll make it fucking happen exactly, like, you have to, you have to, yeah you have to drive fucking uber if you have to fucking i don't know find a job that you hate to yeah. fund an account or get you there we all grinded hard like Hard, exactly. hard, bro. I mean, but I mean, discipline, course. you know, is something that you have to do what needs to be done, right? Yeah. Without even, you know, wanting to do it. Yeah. But what other choice do I have, right? I have to do it. Otherwise, you know, I'm fucked. Either yeah, way, yeah. I mean, you know, if you don't want to do it, you're going to be broke, right? So go back to fucking your miserable life, you know, do whatever you want. But yeah. if you don't exactly. want it bad enough, you're not going to succeed. No, yeah. you know, no doubt about it. Trading's the one job where like you can, it's tough because you can put a billion hours into it and also not get anywhere. But if you really put your head down and focus on the right shit and like you like hustle and like grind, like oh, Harry said, I think every, every mod in this room has grinded to a point to get to even where they are now. And it's like, you know, anyone who comes into this thinking they're just going to pick it up fast. It's like, or, you know, or they don't need to watch videos or education or, or be in front of yeah. the screen, then it's not going to fucking happen. Like, Bro, look at Bao, right? He mortgaged his house, 30K. Mm -hmm. right? He 30K. basically yeah. hit the rock bottom, right? But that's, I think that's one thing it's missing from the members here. A lot of members here, I think they still have something, you know, outside yeah. of trading. They still have something they could yeah. rely on. Yeah. So that's yeah. why, they, you know, they've been fucking around. I mean, you know, if I blew up this account, you know, I can fund another new one. Or, yeah. you know, if I lose this, I'm going to be fine. But yeah. try to imagine if it's your last account and your family is depending on it, you're yeah. going to be fucking disciplined. I'm telling you, you're going to be fucking disciplined. Yeah. yeah it's and, funny you say that. Like, dude, like, that's for me. Like, what changed the corner for me was, like, because, no, like, I, I'm not someone, like, I never had the rock bottom phase of trading because, I was always, I had the business, right? I was a little yeah. bit younger when I started, I had the business and, but what did it for me? Cause it's funny you said that. Cause everyone always asked what the turning point was. And it wasn't until recently I realized like I wanted to be able to provide for my sister and my family going forward and give them what they gave me. And when you have a reason like that, or like whatever it may be to put food on the table, whatever, that's when discipline becomes almost easy. It becomes like, you know yeah. you have to fucking do it. If you don't, you're not going to achieve this goal. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. it's it's just all about mindset. I think that's all. Yeah, and it's 100%. just really how bad you really want it. Mm -hmm. If you want it bad enough, you're gonna you know be able to do it. If yeah, not, of course. Then and you know, it also <laughs> took you a while to kind of learn the ropes. You know, it it, yeah. it it wasn't you know necessarily overnight, but I mean, nope. You know. A lot of people are here for like, I don't know, 
two or three months, they see a bit of consistency and then maybe, you know, they don't really follow the risk management or there's a discipline issue, stuff like that. They kind of go back to the beginning and then they're like, oh, well, I quit. But it's like every single pullback, you know, you know yep. if you're in an uptrend, you're going to have pullbacks, right? Mm-hmm. And exactly. you're always going to have some little tiny setback, whether you overtraded on a day or whether you were really green and lost some things. But, you know, it's just like you just need to keep moving forward. And I think that's the point that we're all trying to make is that for all three of us, I know that I've had setbacks. Like people have, you know, witnessed me having setbacks. People have witnessed, you know, Tom, yeah. whether it was the market changed or like, James as well, whether James maybe got squeezed or I got dumped on or whatever, but we yeah. just kept going. You know, we kept showing up every single day. I think it really is. It's just, it's just showing up, dude. It's just showing up to the fucking job every day. Like, this is why I rant about this. It's like, if you just show up, like, it, trading is one of those weird things. And I always revert back to like Jesse Livermore. If, if anyone's read yeah. The Reminiscence of a Stock Operator, the dude has blown up more times than fucking. Like anyone, right? But he still just came. He fucking bust his ass, save money, do it again, do it again. And it's like, as tough as that is sometimes, it's like, once you get into this job, it's hard to walk away from if you understand it at all. And when you know yeah. that there's this endless possibility, so it's like, just show the fuck up, you know, do your best. Like you see guys like Bow and Alex stick to discipline over and over. You know, it's possible. This isn't like believe bullshit. It's like, you see Harry doing the same shit every day. Tom do the same shit. And I remember, I remember so vividly when Tom started becoming consistent because I think we were at very similar points in trading, but like, I remember when you were on that like 30 day win streak, right. Or something crazy like that. Like it, it was some crazy shit every day. He'd be like 30 days green fucking 40 days green like i remember thinking like holy fuck this guy is really doing it yeah and it's crazy like and and tom like how did you even i guess i hate to bring it back but how did you even get to that point from like when you kind of had that uber and you got your account and you had some money to 40 days fucking green or what what got you there what was the strategy type of thing strategy i mean what changed uh, it for you maybe it's it's funny you know uh to say it but uh because we in mic right yeah but basically that was the missing piece for me Mm -hmm. and you know basically watch the videos it kind of blew my mind i mean of course i was trading before right and watching the new material i mean it just makes more sense to me Mm -hmm. and i knew what i was looking for showing or longing yes but I didn't understand the concept of it. And I think the most important fact is uh, when Bao talking about risk management, when MIC talking yeah. about risk management, and that's really kind of clicked for me. Yeah. Right. And when, when he said, you know, making money is not a problem, but the problem is keeping it. And yeah. that just blew my mind. I said, oh yeah. man, that's, that's totally it. Yeah. fine. Yeah, I you know I, I you know I don't have problem with making a few hundred bucks here and there, but then I ended up you know giving back all. You piss it away. Right? Yep. But once you crack that code, you know, and that code was provided by MIC, right? And then it's just you know kind of balloon up from there. It's just like rolling, rolling, and then you know when when like I think the the major part here was like the daily max. Yep. Right. And I was, you know, I think I was pretty lucky at that point, uh, you know, when I joined MSC and it was like with 700, bu- uh, 700, uh, 700 bucks, I was be able to grow it to two or three K, you know, pretty fast. I think in the yeah. first two weeks, I didn't have, you know, uh, luckily that time the market was good. It was like uh, in uh, October. And, yeah. you know, that two weeks when I joined MSC, I went straight win, you know, straight green. I posted on, on Twitter as well. Uh, you guys want to see it. But it's like, Hundred bucks, two hundred bucks, three hundred bucks, so I eat half up. And then yeah. and after two weeks, okay, now I have fucking two or three grand account. I can raise a little bit more, right? Hundred bucks to me, that's fucking pretty big. I I mean to you guys in US yeah. might be like, you know, small. But for me, hundred bucks is like, you know, worth like at least two days of driving Uber. That's huge. <laughs> Crazy, right? yeah. And the moment you realize that, okay, so let me set my daily max to fucking hundred bucks. 
so I can, you know, make it back next day, next day after that. But, you know, still right after that, I had some setback as well, you know, I've been green and then, you know, I blew up like, uh, not like blew up, but uh, yeah. I get back all for take all those, you know, one, two weeks at once. I mean, it happens, right? Yeah. But then the more you, you, you lost, the more you realize what needs to be done after that. And so yeah. the, all the risk management came. And after that, you know, it's just like, that's it. The moment that's I crazy. can control my loss, you know, that's when I crack mm -hmm. the code. I mean, and you've just been growing since. Yeah, the, much the, since. the key thing here is not about taking a loss. It's, it's about, you know, when, when you hit some certain stop loss, right? When, when you hit a max weight loss a day, being able to walk away from that, that's the huge, you know, mm -hmm. I, I think that's, that's the most important fact. Because before, I, before I was like losing, right? So, all right, so I hit my max loss. 100 bucks, 200 bucks, what I'm going to do? I'm going to sit back and fight. Right? I'm going to revenge trading. The next yep. thing I know, I fucking lost, you know, two or three times. And now I'm fucking frustrated. Now I'm going to load the boat because, you know, 200 shares, you know, uh, 300 shares is not going to do shit. But I lost more than that. I need to size up to make that back. And I think that's, that's the key, you know, thing when you realize that and being able to walk away from that. Mm -hmm. And that's basically that's that was my coach back then. Yeah. Now, now at at your stage where you're at now, do you, are your is your family and your wife and everyone like are they fully supportive of like trading, like knowing that now you make money, now that it's like a real job and you you treat it like a job? Do they are they 100 percent supportive of that? Oh yes, of course, bro. No doubt about it. Fucking bought my house and I, I, I mean, apartment. <laughs> of course, they yeah. fucking support me. If not, I'm gonna fucking throw them away. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> uh, but uh, you know, I kind of, I think that was the, the main, you know, that's something I, I'm really proud of myself. That it's, it's not about the money, right? It's not about yeah, money, but yeah. I'm proud of because I proved to you know, to those people that they are wrong yeah and that's what i'm you know proud the most and I love that. Hey, fucking you know you you thought it was gambling right look at this okay yeah. and all those people they i think there's not a one single person trusted me like that <laughs> not a single one, it. even my wife it's crazy right but what can you do? I mean, the reality is that I blew up several accounts. Nobody would have believed that anyway, right? Yeah. No yeah. One. It's hard to ask for, you know, their trust after that. I mean, you know, maybe after once, twice, three times, you know, maybe it's mistakes. But the third time, the fourth time, it's not a fucking mistake anymore. It's a, it's a choice, right? Yeah. And, yeah. and you know, uh, after that, I kind of proved that, you know, to them. And it makes me really happy. I love that. Yeah. I know Harry had the similar thing too, right? Like the proven people like that it's not gambling, that it's that it's actually just making it's a job that it's like anything else. Like if you work really hard at it, it's you're not throwing your money yeah. at a fucking dartboard, you're 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 trading. Yeah, it's so funny when you're you know, you're studying, you're grinding, you notice that like maybe some of your friends or some people aren't there as much, or even your family treats yeah. you like a little bit different. And then once you start making it, it's like, oh, we were supporting you the whole time. <laughs> we knew you were gonna be rich. <laughs> I was your rock. Oh my God, I remember that. And like still some family members will always ask me, what's your five year plan or what's your whatever plan? It's like, I'm just banking every day and you know I mean it kind of sounds douchebag when you're like I'm banking every day I'm I'm making money every day and you know I don't do you, do you necessarily need a plan a year out I mean what happens if this like crazy transaction tax gets passed by the <laughs> in the states like there's going to be no more fucking market if that happens so I mean yeah you know you just got to take it day by day it's a means to an ends for an end for me I mean, if trading ceased, I have enough money saved that I could probably go into real estate or go into a different venture. But, you know, we all have a common theme where it's like every single day we're just showing up, we're trading, we're sticking to the process, you know, line to line. And that's really about it. And, you know, every, of course, in weekend mentoring as well, we're always there. 
you know, yep. me and Tom as well. Tom's posting the friggin' links, copying <laughs> every single Tom's day. a video guru. What's Tom a just fucking Tom? drops that link. Here you go. Here's six videos. But I mean, <laughs> you know, it's really just the, you know, the work ethic and really the sacrifice that kind of brought us to where we all are. So, I mean, if there's anything that anyone takes away from this, it's that, you know, when you listen to Tom, it's, it, you know, it's hard. It's like the first account, the second account, the third account, the fourth account. And everyone's like, oh, Tom, you're an idiot. But, you know, once you make that all back, you know, like the accounts that I blew up early on, like super early on in my trading career, you know, I could make that now daily. That's what's that's what's crazy is that like yeah that little investment is like it. I'm making that daily now so it, that's but I think I think about that all the time right Harry that actually just triggered something you know like what's seven hundred like, bucks like a small stop out now I mean for I, like, yeah <laughs> seriously it's a ten cent stop right it's like it's like you think about you think about investing right like I, this is my this is a really good way to fucking like like talk about like think about it is like. When I invested in my business, I mean, I have no problem talking about it. Like it, it cost me like a hundred grand to get the first shop going, like between like, you know, the build out and the advertising, everything, dude, everything. It cost me a fuck ton of money. All the money I had saved up at that point and then some. So when you think about trading, it's like, dude, you fucking blow up two accounts, three accounts, 10 accounts, even a thousand dollars each. It's like, okay, you invested 10 grand but for the opportunity to make a lifetime of money. I mean, like 10 grit, I've seen fucking people make, you know, I've seen guys, both of you make that in a day, right? Like, I mean, that's the reality. So yeah. all that money you invested, every time you fucking had to refill that account, it's like, it's like, that's your investment. Like, it's like, did you expect to get into trading without almost losing is the wrong idea. The idea yeah. is that you're investing and that's why MIC exists. And that's why I think MIC is so important to people is that you're investing in your education. So what's $200 a month? What's $2,000 a year for the opportunity to make fucking $2,000 a day? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, and I mean, also if you go to university, I mean, university is not cheap. Right? <laughs> Yeah. Like this is number one, way cheaper than university. If you do it right. I mean, I'm not saying oh, take out a oh. hundred thousand dollar loan and then just start trading four or 5,000 share positions. But I mean, if, if you, if like, if you compare like the amount of money I put into trading when I first started versus one year of university that I paid, it's, it's, absurd. Yeah. I paid way <laughs> more money for that first year of university <laughs> than I did for, for all the accounts, for all the blow ups the education, the everything. I mean, you can't really put a price on time, but. Oh no. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, I mean, it's like, it's, it's just something that you cannot put, you know, money on, right? I mean, for MIC and especially Bow and Alex, I was at that time. And those are the only two persons that trusted me, right? They have, like, they believe in me. And that, you know, that tells something. Yeah. And sometimes all you need is just for someone to trust you, right? For you to kind of do it. And and I think, you know, MIC that was the breaking kind of point for me. And and uh, you know, I think without it, I I don't think I could, you know, get here. And so basically Bao and Alex kind of changed my life in a way. And so that's why I said to Bob many times, bro, I mean, you know, you've done so much for me and what can I do for you, right? What, what can I do to help? And all he said was like, okay, uh, try to be successful, right? Try, try to be good at it. And that's how you can pay me back. Yeah. And you know, that works, right? I mean, fucking struck me and I said, fuck it, okay? I'm gonna fucking help as many people as I can because if I can pay it, you know, forward, uh, uh, if, if I can pay it back, I have to pay it forward, right? So yeah. that's why, we, you know, trying so hard to help the members, not because, uh, you know, of the money and, and, or anything, you know, because we have shit here, right? Uh, but because we wanted to, I believe in karma, you know, uh, you know, one, uh, it takes one, you know, teach one, each one, teach one, right? And, someone's, you know, been helping you, uh, just out of, you know, nowhere, uh, Bao and Alex, you know, helping me with MIC, all that, they believe in me. Yeah. But, you know, compared to my family, right? Nobody gives a shit about me. 
What the fuck? I know. Man? Uh, I know. It's a weird. <laughs> it's a weird family dynamic that we have actually like, in the group. That it's just like, it's like trading. Such like a. It's a lonely job, but it's a hard. It's a job that only traders understand. I think, and mm-hmm. the fact that you have people here to kind of <clears> have <throat> a shoulder to lean on and like actually believe in you and make you feel like that without ever meeting them is the craziest thing in the world. Yeah, but exactly. that's the reality. And so. sometimes, you know, when you think about it, a lot of members uh, right now, they might only need us to tell them that we believe in them, right? Yeah, it's you know, crazy. For, for them to have an extra push, you know, in their yeah. uh, journey or whatever. And yeah, of course. That's, that's, that's all it takes. Sometimes it's just, you know, a one word, you know, I believe in you, you know, good job, yeah. you know, keep it up. And it kind of pushed them. It kind of mo- motivates them, you know, working harder. Yeah, and that, that's basically the purpose of life, anyway, right? And that's why I kind of changed my Twitter to the way it was, because my Twitter used to be all the time, where, um, you know, my Twitter would just be like strategy or like chart or like whatever. Yeah, me too. Mine too. And 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 no one, I mean, people would like listen to it, but like. I mean, the, the problem I found on Twitter is that there wasn't a lot of like realness. Like there's a couple people for sure, but there yeah. wasn't a lot of people saying that no one, like I find on, on Twitter and like on a lot of stuff like that, like once people make it, they like to just forget about the journey, the sacrifice, the struggle. And I think that comes back to the idea of why me and James did this in the first place. But like, yeah. I mean, you never hear a lot of professional traders talk about like, Oh, I blew up this many accounts. Oh, this was a struggle. Oh, I had this, you know, conflict with my family. Oh, I had this, I had that. Like, you don't really hear a lot of that. And maybe as these podcasts and as these stories start to pop up, people will kind of jump on the trend and start talking about it. But that was kind of the lack of stuff that I saw like a year ago, whatever. It's all like, oh, here's my chart. Here's my entry and exit that actually mean nothing. I mean, as much as I can show a lot of people a chart as to why I went long here, you know, yeah. they're not going to be inside my head, you know, as much as I try and, you know, it just takes, you know, the consistent work and the consistent, you know, you know, just, just course. the time, you know, and yeah, I'm telling you, bro. Yeah. I'm telling you, bro. I mean, M- MIC, we have like everything, right? I mean, the mods, three of us here, it's not because uh, we do it because we love it. We yeah. love helping people. We want, you know, to be able to change, you know, people's lives, right? That's yeah. exactly how Bao and Alex changed my life, you know, change your life and also Harry's. I mean, but uh, sometimes, you know, a lot of people, they don't, don't appreciate it. And that's their fault, right? Of course. Uh, there, there's not much, you know, can, you can do about it. Uh, you know, you cannot please uh, everyone, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. It, it, I, well, we have a ton more members compared to the days that like Nico was here. Yeah, Nico, bro. Yeah, of course. Uh, you know, yes, and, Nico. but you know, uh, for me, my the purpose in life for me is you know to be able to help someone. Okay, and uh, I might not need it in the future, but I might need it. Who knows, right? My son might need it. Of course. My son, yeah, you know, when he, when, when he grows up, some someone else will help him. Who knows, right? Yeah. So that's you know basically the purpose of like uh, my purpose of life of living, and you know I try to kind of make a difference. And uh, I love that. I I mean, I how it. many of you guys have gotten the the message of oh yeah, if you're ever in my area, like come ha- come down for a drink, or if yeah. you're ever here. I mean, uh, yeah. Like I'm, I mean, I'm gonna Bao, do a meetup Bao, here. Bao could go wherever. Yeah. You could drive around the, the states and just write on Twitter or write in MIC, hey, bro, uh, I'm in Florida. Like, who's up for a drink in this town? I'm sure, like, 50 people would just drive there and be like, bow, 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 bow. You know, like, what's yeah. up? They had an impromptu fucking Miami meetup and, like, 50 people showed up. I mean, yeah. it's, like, yeah. it's, it's awesome, right? I yeah, mean, it's I like, mean, it's insane, yeah. Yeah, crazy. Like, it's wild. But... But as we're, I mean, we are coming up on the hour mark, which is what we're trying to keep. And, but I mm-hmm. guess to end it, we can kind of wrap it up with like, Tom, what do you, what's the best piece of advice you would give a new trader right now that you wish you could talk to yourself again when you first started? What would it be? The process, right? I mean, it sounds really simple, uh, but, you know, 
it's going to get you to where you want it. Again, the process, everyone is different. You have a different process. I have a different process, but you have to find something, you know, working for you. So it's for you, right? All coop. I mean, we, um, uh, we're not going to go over, you know, the patterns and all that. We have the, you know, the videos for that. But once you grasp that part, right? Once you found something that's been working for you, you yeah. know, try, try, try to stick with that, right? I mean, a lot, I mean, the 90% of the traders, why they're still losing is because they still don't know what they're looking for every day, right? And that's why they trade on the fly. That's why revenge trading, because, you know, you don't have an edge, right? You don't know exactly what you're looking for from the market. Yeah. I mean, the market is telling you, the market is giving you the signal, but you are still confusing with that. Right. Yeah. I mean, same thing with playing a blackjack. Uh, you know, if you know that you have 19 and 20 hands, you're going to bet on those, right? The odds are you're going to be more like, you know, succeed on, on that. Yeah. Instead of right now, all you see is, you know, 14, 15, 19, 17, all that. And you don't know which one to choose. And when you like, same thing with open a business like you, James, I mean, once you found the product, you're going to stick to that product, right? And all the researching, all that, all that shit before, you know, that's, that's the beginning, right? You, it takes time to find a good product, but once you found it, stick with it. Yeah. And stick with that, a cube with risk management, you're going to be fine. fine. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, and, no, and I, I completely agree with that. Like, I mean, like me and Tom don't have the same style. Me and James don't have the same style, you exactly. know, but we're all able to make money. And it's so crazy because if you look at the stocks that I traded today, like I know that I know James wasn't trading or I, I didn't, I wasn't, I was like kind of in and out, but like, I can guarantee you that, you know, Tom wasn't trading the stocks that I was in when I was long. And when Tom was short, I was not trying to go long where Tom, exactly. Tom was short. and that's because we have our own process. And, you know, for Tom, it's going to be shorting into a, a resistance or shorting into pops or waiting for the stock to come down and then shorting a bounce, you know, there's yeah. all those different things. But I understand, you know, just as much as I understand what Tom's doing, you know, Tom understands what I'm doing as well. And I think that's exactly. what, that's why we can all get along because Tom isn't going short at the bottoms into the weakness, right? Tom's waiting yeah. for the pop. And, you know, that's why... I think, you know, with me, I've been able to kind of meet a lot of people. And if I ever wanted to go short, I could easily just be like, oh, Tom, you know, 460 line, like that one's looking pretty good, you know, because our cells yeah. always match and our covers always match, you know. Exactly. There, there, there was one time I was long, right? It was exactly the same entry as you. Yeah. And oh, yeah. I oh my God. I know. Right? Same entry. And yeah. Exit same entry. Almost yeah. So, uh, you know, it's, I think it's, uh, it all comes down to that process I was talking about. And I think that's the most important for the new traders to find, you know, the edge, right? To find, to know what they're looking for. Because you coming into the market without even knowing what exactly what you're looking for. I mean, that's hard, right? How can you keep up with that? All the prints, you know, all the charts, all the tape, it's impossible. A cube with, you know, emotions, discipline, you know, a time frame as well sometimes, you know, flow, you know, easy to borrow, fucking market cap, dilutions. You have all that, you know, information and also in the chat room that uh, we have, uh, uh, you know, plenty of ideas coming in, right? Old text. And if you take that, all that seriously, all at once, and you don't even focus on what you're good at, you're going to, you know, be confused. You know, it's all those information are really overwhelmed. And it happened to me before, right? When I was like, uh, you know, talking to like, or, or like chatting to so many people at, at you know, at the same time. So uh, that would be my, you know, my best advice. Uh, focus on that okay. process. Define what is your process and stick to that. Yeah, I love it. I yeah. love that. Well, I, I, like that Bao said. Yeah. I can't really repeat it, but like, you know, it's just, you know, every single day, like, you know, it's just the camaraderie, all the mods and just like really 
it, it's really like a team environment and it's really just yeah. like a family environment it's where fun as fuck it's you know, fun as fuck. every single day we're just we're just trading laughing and right I mean, it's not like i'm like oh tom i'm gonna get you i'm gonna get you tom because <laughs> like, tom shorting it to the pop you know <laughs> uh, yeah bro it's, I, I mean, it's, it. it's, it's, you know, it's the best thing that you could, you know, wish for, right? Being able to trade, having fun, making a lot of money, you know, have, you know, met, you know, a lot of new friends and being to help people at the same time. I mean, what else do you want? Right? Yeah, I mean, so like good. us now, we, we're trading for like maybe 30 minutes or like an hour. Sometimes yeah. I'm, I'm done, like, you know, after 15 minutes at open. I know. <laughs> Man, I, I was scoping all day fun. till like friggin' three o'clock, but <laughs> yeah, you know. You know did anyone it, see me just keep posting like as the day went on? I was busy. I didn't have fucking any time. That's funny as shit. So, but I love it honestly. Yeah. I think I think I think this is a I think this is a cool fucking interview, dude. I love this shit. I really do. Yeah, I love I, you I, guys. I love talking about this shit. I yeah, think. Gross. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll just uh, wrap it up here and uh, yeah, you know, see you guys for the next one. Yeah, later, later guys. guys. Yeah.